Hello everyone, I'm Qing Huang from Peking University. Today it's my pleasure here to present our paper. This is a joint work from Peking University, Penchen Lab, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Fuzhou University, and Huawei Technologies. In this paper, we address low-level monitoring, which is important for network management. We model each network packet as a key-value pair. The key identifies the flow this packet belongs to, and the values indicate the information carried by the packet. The monitoring is to group packets into flows based on the flow key, and compute statistics such as packet count, byte count for each flow. The monitoring is composed of an update phase and a queried phase. The update phase runs in the network data plane. A network device such as a switch and a router maintains a monitoring data structure. Each incoming packet incurs an update to the data structure. The query phase resides in the control plane. It collects the monitoring data structure from the data plane and extracts flow-level information recorded in the structure. In network monitoring, the resources in network devices are very limited compared to the huge volume of network traffic. So existing network monitoring uses many approximate techniques such as sampling or sketch to make a trade-off between accuracy and resource efficiency. They sacrifice a portion of accuracy to reduce the resource overhead and in general, they also provide theoretical guarantees to bound the accuracy degradation. However, we find that theoretical guarantees in existing approximate techniques are limited. The error bounds are meaningful for only a small portion of specific flows such as heavy heaters or super spreaders. But for most of the other flows, the error bounds are too loose to be useful. Here, we take a classical sketch algorithm, Kahneman sketch, as an example. Kahneman sketch consists of multiple rows of counters. It's usually used to monitor the total byte of each flow. Now, we consider a scenario that there are 10 gigabyte network traffic, and if we deploy a Kahneman sketch with enough rows and each row has 10,000 counters, in theory, we can guarantee that the estimated flow size of any flow deviates from its true size by around 200 kilobytes. For heavy heaters whose size is usually tens of megabytes, this absolute error means that the relative error is less than 2%, which is good. However, for small flows, the error bound is too loose and unacceptable. Even though current monitoring focuses on large flows, the small flows are also important because they imply many anomalies. And if we can accurately monitor such very small flows, network administrators can quickly deal with the anomalies. So in this paper, we want to design new algorithms that can achieve nearly zero error monitoring. By nearly zero error, we mean that for almost all flows, the relative error of their monitor values is below a small bound. We follow the line of sketch algorithm, and our key idea is to introduce compressive sensing in the sketch design. Compressive sensing is a signal processing technique that already achieves nearly zero error in many areas such as image processing. So we hope to borrow its idea in network monitoring. Specifically, our work contains four parts. First, we study the advantages and limitations of compressive sensing in network monitoring. Second, we formulate sketch algorithms in the form of compressive sensing and then study the efficiency of combining sketch algorithm and compressive sensing. Third, we build a theoretical framework to revisit the common approaches in sketch algorithms from a new perspective of compressive sensing. And finally, we propose two new al sketch algorithms. We will introduce the four aspects in the following. We first introduce compressive sensing in the context of network monitoring. Compressive sensing considers signals as vectors, and it has two basic operations to deal with the vectors. 
The first is called sensing operation. It's similar to the update phase in the network monitoring. The sensing operation employs a sensing matrix to map an original signal X into a measurement vector Y. And the second operation, recovery operation, is similar to the query phase in the network monitoring. And its goal is to recover the original X from Y based on some prior knowledge. In classical compressive sensing, there are some recommendations for the sensing matrix and the recovery algorithm. Theoretical analysis shows that with such recommended configurations, the recovered signal is guaranteed to be close to the original signal with a high probability. So our first attempt is to use the recommended sensing matrix and recovery algorithms. We consider four different types of recommended sensing metrics and two recovery algorithms here. In the figure, we find that all the eight approaches can achieve nearly perfect accuracy for 1 million flows with only a few hundred of kilobytes memory. However, the recommended matrix suffers from poor scalability. In particular, each packet updates one element in the original vector X and the recommended sensing matrix is usually a dense matrix. So we need to update a large amount of elements in the measurement vector Y. This is infeasible because network devices have limited computational resources. So our second attempt is to use new sensing matrix. We observe that sketch algorithms can be formulated in the same form of compressive sensing very well. Specifically, vector X is the per flow statistics we want to monitor, and we can assemble all contours in the sketch structure to form the measurement vector Y. Mm -hmm. Then we determine the elements in the sensing matrix based on whether a flow is hashed to a contour. However, our experiment shows that such constructed sensing matrix has very low recovery accuracy, even though we use the same recovery algorithm of compressive sensing. If we compare the two methods, we can find that the only difference between the two methods is the sensing matrix we use. So this motivates us to study the properties of the sensing matrix. We find that in classical compressive sensing, each recommended sensing matrix has an important property called orthonormality. So compressive sensing prefers a high highly orthonormal sensing matrix to guarantee the recovery accuracy. Compressive sensing also quantifies the orthonormality using a metric called RIP. The lower RIP, the matrix is more orthonormal and the recovery results are more accurate. So we measure the RIP for the recommended sensing matrix and our constructed matrix. We observe that the recommended matrix in classical compressive sensing has RIP values below 0.3, which means that they are highly orthonormal. However, all RIP values of, all of our constructed matrix are above 100. So our next study is to design sketch algorithms with highly orthonormal matrix such that we can use compressive sensing to recover highly accurate flow statistics. Our methodology is to study how the approaches in existing sketch algorithms affect the matrix properties. We classify the common approaches in existing sketch algorithms in four classes. The first class includes sampling techniques and conservative updates. They produce fractional matrix elements in the sensing matrix. The second category is to build a complicated sketch with multiple simple sketch structures. From a perspective of a sensing matrix, they essentially add more loads to the sensing matrix. The third class is to maintain flow keys outside the sketch structure. Recall that each column in the sensing matrix corresponds to one flow. So if we record flow keys, we can drop useless columns if the corresponding flow keys do not appear. Finally, some sketch algorithms split traffic into different portions. 
this essentially decomposes a sensing matrix into two simple matrices. However, existing sketch algorithms are not specifically designed for compressive sensing, so their usage of these approaches do not improve the orthonormality. So we need to design new algorithms that can assemble the common approaches more efficiently. In this paper, we propose two new algorithms, seek sketch and embed sketch. They identify flow keys with Bloom filter and store the keys in the control plane, and they maintain candidate large flows to split traffic into large flows and small flows. They also produce fractional updates to the sketch structure. Our results show that if we constructed sensing metrics for the two new algorithms, the matrices are very highly, uh, are <laughs> highly orthonormal. So the two algorithms can achieve very low per flow relative error for almost all for almost all flows. Since time is limited, we suggest to find more details in our paper. To conclude our work, we consider the problem of nearly zero error sketch. Our key idea is to introduce compressive sensing in the sketch design. And since direct using compressive sensing is not scalable, we formulate sketch algorithms and study their properties. In particular, inve investigate the efficiency of common approaches in sketch algorithms and use the results to guide the design of, uh, of two new algorithms. We believe that our work can provide new theoretical framework to study sketch algorithms in the future. And that's all of my talk. Thank you for your attention.